In this question, we have to tell whether the given sequence converges or diverges. And if the given se sequence converges, then we have to find the limit of that sequence. So there are seven parts of this question and we are going to solve them one by one. So let's talk about the first part, the A part. Uh, we have the uh, sequence a n is equals to 1 minus 0 0.6 raised to the power n. So if we take limit n tends to infinity both sides, then uh, it will be limit n tends to infinity 1 minus 0 0.6 power n. And we know that any number between 0 and 1, if let's say if x is between 0 and 1, then if we raise power to the x, let's say x power n, then it will uh, get smaller and smaller as n tends to infinity because a number between 0 to 1 gets uh, smaller when we uh, multiply it with itself. So that's why this term will go towards 0 as n tends to infinity. So that's why the limit will be 1 because this whole term will go towards 0, will tend to 0 as n tends to infinity. So the answer to the first question is that the given se sequence converges and the limit of that sequence is 1. So now let's talk about the second question. This, in the second question, uh, we have the sequence a n is equals to n cube over 7 n cube plus 1. Now if we take the limit both sides, limit n tends to infinity, uh, a n it will be limit n tends to infinity n cube over 7 n cube plus 1 and now if you put the limit then it is infinity by infinity form and if uh, there is 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form then you can uh, you can do it by L'Hopital rule that means you can take the derivative of uh, the denominator and the numerator with respect to n and then apply the limit but there is a simpler way of doing that so you can also do that by L'Hopital rule or you can do it the way I'm going, going to do. So uh, you can simply take n cube common from, from the denominator. So it will be limit n tends to infinity n cube over if I take n cube common then I will get 7 plus 1 over n cube. Okay and n cube and n cube go cancel. So I get this this term. Now, if I if I uh, use the limit, limit n tends to infinity, the one one over n cube will go towards zero because one over infinity is zero. So the answer will be the remaining uh, terms will be one over seven. So the answer to the B part is that the given sequence converges and the limit of that given sequence is one over seven. So now we have limit of this is uh, one and answer to the this question is 1 over 7 and now we talk about the C part. In the C part we can uh, use the same trick that we did in the B part. Uh, so we can take the limit or we can take the sequence a n is equals to 7 plus 2 n square over n plus 7 n square limit n tends to infinity. And here also it is infinity by infinity form and you can always use the L'Hopital rule. But you can do the same thing that we did in the B part. So what is that? We can take n square common from uh, the denominator and the numerator both. So uh, if I take common n square from, the, from here, I will get 7 over n square plus 2 and divide by. So I am taking the highest power common that is present there. Okay, so if I take n square common from here, I will get 1 over n plus 7. Okay, so now if I use the limit, so first of all we have to cancel out this n square, and now if I use the limit, then uh, 7 over n square will go towards 0, and 1 over n also go towards 0, so it will be 2 over 7. Okay, because when n tends to infinity, this will go towards 0 and this will also go towards 0. So answer to this question is 2 over 7. Okay, so now let's talk about the D part. So in the D part, uh, the given sequence is uh, 
e power 6 by n and if I take limit n tends to infinity then then 6 by n will tend towards 0 because 6 by n and when n tends to infinity this whole term will go towards 0 so that's why uh, it will tend towards e power 0 and what is e power 0 that is 1 because power to a non-zero number power 0 to a non-zero number is always 1 so that's why answer to the d part which is very straightforward is 1 so all these given sequences converges and their limits are 1, 1 by 7, 2 by 7 and 1 so now let's talk about the remaining two parts so let's talk about e part so in the e part a n is equals to under root n plus 5 divided by 25 n plus 5 okay now uh, when we take the limit n tends to infinity uh, the limit can go inside the square root so wait a minute it will be under root limit n tends to infinity n plus 5 divided by 25 n plus 5 so this is a property that limit can go inside the square root sign and now uh, it is infinity by infinity under the square root sign so you can use the L'Hopital rule you can take the derivative of the uh, numerator and denominator with respect to n so we will have uh, under root limit n tends to infinity if I take the derivative with respect to n here then derivative of n is 1 because I am taking with respect to n so it is 1 and derivative of 5 is 0 because it is a constant divide by derivative of 25 n is 25 and derivative of 5 is 0 and since there is no n present here so this limit can go it can disappear because there is no n here so it doesn't matter if we take limit or not so we will get under root 1 over 25 which is 1 by 5 so that sequence also converges and the limit of this of the sequence is 1 by 5 okay so now uh, only the f part the seventh part is remaining so we are going to solve that now uh, for the f part let's let's write the sequence a n is equals to n square divided by under root n cube plus 9 n now the thing is we want to get rid of this n square so we want n square somewhere here so that we can cancel it out and we can only have n square here if i take n power 4 common from here because it's a square root sign so let me let me tell you what we can do here a n is equal to n square divided by under root now if i take n power 4 common inside the under root sign then i will have 1 over n first of all plus 9 so i'm taking uh, n power 4 common then i will have n cube 9 over n cube so that's uh, what we are going to have and this n power 4 will become n square n square if it gets out of the square root sign and we can cancel out this n square from n square so we'll have 1 over this thing so now we have uh, redefined our given sequence a n and now if i take limit n tends to infinity limit n tends to infinity a n it will be limit n tends to infinity 1 over this thing 1 over under root of 1 over n plus 9 over n cube now if n tends to infinity then this will go towards 0 and this will also go towards 0 so we will approach towards 1 over 0 which is infinity so that means the last part uh, the given sequence do, do not converge in fact it diverges and it, it diverges towards plus infinity okay so thus we have solved all the parts and uh, this is it for this video and thank you for watching.